So I got fat. <laughs> <laughs> My wife and I decided that we would grow old and fat together and we got really ahead on one of them. And um, yeah. So I decided that I didn't want to do that anymore. I was in size 54 pants and I was stretching a 7XL shirt and uh, there was nothing wrong with me. Um, so the surgeon said that Oh, actually, my doctor said that I was like a surgeon's wet dream because there was nothing wrong with me. No <laughs> blood pressure, no cholesterol, no diabetes. I had sleep apnea, so I had to have one of those machines because I stopped breathing when I was asleep. Um, and that was quite bad. Um, that's gone. I don't use that machine. Um, I love what I had done with the sleep. Given me control over food. I don't think about it, uh, it's input versus output. I eat what I like, I don't diet, don't think about dieting. People go, would you like cream in your coffee? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's about um, amounts of food that you can cope with. So I still can't finish a happy meal, the drink, the chips and the burger. I can do a burger and a sip of the drink and da 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 da. It's like eating Chinese food. So in an hour, while everybody else is still full, I can go snack on something else, and I do constantly. Um, I feel like I eat all the time now, whereas before I sort of didn't. I had came home to one meal, got a little busy because I'm an IT geek, and um, yeah, you were just in meetings and never had time for food. Had lots of time for coffee and smoking, but uh, yeah. Um, it's everything I wanted about control. then because you become cognizant of how much food you can eat, you have a tendency to stick stuff in your mouth that you like. So it's about taste, not about filling that empty void that you have. I have had. Um, yeah, I'm real happy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if you decide to go down this path, I think you will be too. <laughs> <laughs>